Tech Lab, where collaboration is fruition. I'm Tech, and we're joined by our close friend and key collaborator, Patu, who you've seen in our streams. You surely know him well. Uh, we're excited to be bringing a new series today, we're back in Icarus. And as you just saw, we're creating a brand new character. We're playing this as if it's a first time. So we're going into Olympus, and even though you can see we've unlocked all of these missions across the board, we are going to start ourselves off in the very first one. And the reason is, is because we're joined by a very special guest. That's prolific YouTuber Mozo Tice. He has extensive experience in a variety of games, especially survival, spray strategy, a lot of other challenging types. And so we're kicking it off. As you can see, we're dropping down in a pod. Highly recommend taking a look at Mozo's channel. The link is in the description down below. He's made a lot of amazing series, some of them co-op also, as well as game demonstrations. He's done tutorials, playthroughs in all sorts of varieties of games. Really skilled player, someone I consider a friend. Really excited to be doing this. Uh, but he's never played Icarus. So, Pawtu and I, as you see dropping down from the sky right now here, he and I have about 1,500 hours. So, we've got a little bit of a special surprise as well for you here. We're going to be able to teach Mozo... Yeah, there's Pontu landing. We're going to be able to teach Mozo a bit about this game. I'm sure he's going to teach us a whole lot about survival and all of his skills that he's built up and cross uh, goals and, and things that we've learned. But I'm just going to talk over here. You don't need to listen to Sal or anything else as well. So I figured I would narrate this first little bit as we're just dropping in, getting coordinated. And um, But I do recommend, go over, take a look at Mozo's uh, side of things. He is also going to be publishing this here. So take a look in the description. You're going to get to see his perspective in the game. Uh, like I said, we've also got a little bit of a treat uh, that for those who've seen us in our stream might have a little spoiler, but... Uh, I think it's a, a fun upgrade even from there that, that might surprise you. So we'll jump into that soon. We're going to introduce everybody. Again, we've got Patu here. I'm sitting here just collecting. Uh, not doing a very good job. I haven't even made a knife. Haven't done anything. Uh, you'll see some antics uh, with that coming up soon here. But running around in Icarus, excited to jump into this series. So here's our guests. Hello, everybody. Uh, I think I'm working my way towards your ping. Yeah, hello, I think so. Okay. So for we? the benefit of all the viewers, and so that I don't look absolutely, totally and utterly stupid, um, I have extremely small amounts of experience in this game. And um, you too, when I both meet up with you, or meet up with you both, uh, are going to teach me how to play it. We're going to try. We're going to try, yeah. yeah. So uh, for the benefit of the viewers, if you're either thinking about getting the game or you've just got it and don't really understand it, you don't really know where to go with it, um, well, keep watching and see how it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. This is a new, a new thing as well. Yeah. So I'm uh, actually just going to try and um, figure out where the heck you all are. Seems to have been quite a long way away. Yeah, we made you run a oh. little bit, it seems. Ah, there you are. Hello. So, hey, right. Okay, How's just going, while man? we're on that, that down here. point, let me just uh, stick your views on yeah. so that uh, everybody. Hello. Ah, hello. Hello. Red and blue. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've put their cameras up on my screen for everybody to see. I hope they don't get in the way too much of what I'm doing. I don't think they will. Uh, Porto is not recording, so you can't get his point of view, but there is a link in the description down below to uh, Tech's video. So if you, want, if you see something on my screen and he's doing something really interesting, go and check it out on his. Assuming he hasn't edited it out, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's interesting, I'm sure we'll keep it. Good work, Freshwood. With new skills, come new well, we're excited to do this with you. What you do with that yeah, it should be fun. I'm uh, looking forward to it. I say I know very, very little about this game. I've, I've the basics. I know where my inventory is, and I know to pick berries. Put some berries on the hot bar. 
Some pumpkins with them as well. So this first mission and is, as you can kind of see on the left, is mostly gathering. And this game is, you, know, all, you, you gain experience and then that's how you start to unlock more talents and blueprints. So they're sort of just guiding you along and that's pick up brush and grab small trees. And that top left bar yep. is where your experience is. So me just picking up some brush here so far almost has me already to level one. Okay. So I need a little bit more experience to make a knife, I think, was the recommendation. It's pretty oh, good. Yeah, yeah self-defense. Start with a stone pickaxe, which is helpful because then you don't have to pick up stones off the ground anymore. You can just walk up to right. one. A stone axe is good, but really more when you want to start making a shelter. Although cutting down right. trees is really good for experience. Okay, okay. All right, so leveled up. We need to go to crafting. No, tech tree. Tech tree and the knife. And the bow and some arrows. And that's all my points gone. Um, have I got enough to craft anything? Yeah, that Stand first back. round is usually yeah. this, you know, the knife and the bow and arrow. Yeah. So, and then as many arrows as I can make. So it's interesting when we played, and and by the way, just a little, you know, background. Potu has been a part of our tech collab. We've done some streaming. I've been wanting to do some videos, and I, I'll be honest, we had some issues with a lot of recordings we tried earlier on with Icarus and. I was fumbling with my settings and not too great with it, but, you know, we've been playing a lot. I've got about 600 or so hours in this game. Fatu, you're probably a thousand? I'm pushing it. Yeah, I think a thousand. Oh. So you've probably got a base built by now then, have you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, or, one or two. Got a little bit more than these stone <laughs> tools, that's for sure. But it's really fun to go yeah, back then, to the intro. This, this game. Mm. Yeah, I think the start of most games is is usually like the best bit, um, because a lot of games when you get like everything you could possibly need, it's what do I do now? So, starting a new game gives you the opportunity to revisit all the all the interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this but one is um, the, the way the missions work. There's some definitely some very difficult missions where you know yeah, you're so some looking big at bosses. the mission list. Mm -hmm. It's uh, this seems to be quite a quite a long game. It's it's not an afternoon to, to complete kind of game. Oh no. But I would say I don't know if I know what completion would be. I think I see a lot of people take it in a lot of directions. You know, certainly you can progress and continue progressing, but I think even in my amount of hours, I probably haven't completed every single mission. Right. I know I haven't. No, I haven't either. I haven't either. But that's because we've done other things. Um. I made my knife yet? I am not. I got a wolf. Ah. <laughs> not <laughs> thinking. I'm running around and I didn't craft my knife. My first piece of advice. Yeah, that's the first thing you told me to make. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't aggro. He only went yellow. I think he's about to get to me. Let's see if I can craft my knife in time. Yep, he is. Don't. No. Okay, so from my viewer's uh, perspective, I'm chopping this oxide rock. Uh, you make oxide because it gives you oxygen. And there is no oxygen on this planet, apparently. So what I do is uh, drag the oxygen over and put it in my um, suit, essentially. And that will keep me going for a little while, hopefully. The other thing that you need to go tech into whenever you level is you need to get bandages. Because I noticed before it was uh, if you get hit by a wolf uh, it sometimes it happens the first time sometimes it don't happen at all uh, but you will get a scratch on you then it'll show up on your left hand corner down by where your food is your food buffs and the bandage will take away the scratch that has two bars on it now you'll get one that has three bars in it and that will have to take a suture which you will have to unlock as well Okay. 
So bandages, good idea to use them quickly. So uh, if yeah. you need them, use it. And the neat yeah. thing about this game is, especially as a co-op, it does very well. So for example, whether it's talents, uh, and I'm sure, you know, I know we'll get into that more, but you could have one person that's more specialized in one thing than another. Uh, but even blueprints at the beginning, sometimes each of us will only have a couple blueprint points each available, and we need a lot more than that. So one will tech into one thing, and somebody else will tech into another. So you can always share and things. All right, so I got level two. I, I wasn't paying attention. Did you say you only get so many talent points? I haven't talked about talents. That's a whole whole thing getting into talents, but yeah, that's a limited eventually you cap off. You can't you can't unlock everything in the talent tree. So each one gives you little bonuses here or there, but you 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 only get fifty total. So you kinda have to pick and choose eventually. So I know teching, it looks like um the third mission in this, I know it's hard to see for the viewers, is unlock a wood rag torch. So eventually we'll have to do that. Um, again, we can decide how, much, how far we try to just work through this mission and get into the more complicated one, or if we want to use it as a good just um, exploration round. But uh, Well, again, it's all a part of learning. So uh, initially for myself and probably for my viewers, uh, once I just kind of show them like how we get started, yeah. Um, um, this mission is supposed to be a sort of tutorial, you said. So, uh, I think we should just use that as a as a learning process. Yeah, absolutely. I just scared a rabbit away. Apparently. Yep, I tried to shoot it while I was running. Did not work. <laughs> now there were um, some deer over here, but I scared them away as well. Yeah, I'm remembering here. Missions are a collective completion. And so I think whoever crafts the first rag torch will effectively complete that for us. So just oh, right. okay. something to think about, which is fine. That's just but just so you're aware. Yep. All right. I think I need to craft. I'm going to just start leaving some wood piles over here by the lake, just in case anybody feels like using them to build anything. I don't know if we'll be teched enough for wood, though, now that I realize it. We might be... Uh, yeah, up. level 5. Yeah, we might just be thatch for now. Well, I've learned that it's not possible to hit a rabbit that's running away from you. <laughs> but I do think we probably want to get a... There you go. A fire going, I was about to say. That's usually something, you know, I can see my... Food is about at the mid-range, so you want to start to get some food. There's not much that you can eat raw. Basically, the red berries are the main ones, and then watermelon. Everything else effectively needs to be cooked. And a tip, uh, control clicking an item transfers it from one inventory to whatever you're in. And then alt uh, it's alt control, I think. Uh, we'll do the whole, everything that's alike. So if you've got seven stacks of something in your inventory, you can alt control click and it will take the entire, all of everything out of your inventory and put it wherever you're yep, pointing of to. the same stuff. I think it's control shift. I just tried it. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm never going to remember that. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll find it eventually. Yeah. Just trying to find some meat. Well, I've got some cooking on this fire. If you want to look for us on the map, I'll take my marker off the map. It does get kind of annoying unless you're really using them. Ah, wow, you leveled up. I heard it. Yeah. You shot a moose. Well, uh, whatever the heck it was. Crafting arrows tends to be really good for experience. Yep. And the advice was to chop the body up with a knife after you've harvested the meat because uh, you don't want to leave carcasses lying around. They attract predators. Yep. Yeah. It's real bad in, in sticks. Why we suggested Olympus first. Sticks is horrible with, oh. with critters. Oh, man, it's bad. 
Uh, something else that you will have to remember later on. Right now with this suit, it's not a it's not a bad thing. But uh, the higher up you get and the different suits and stuff you get, drinking water out of here will get you sick. Yeah, we haven't quite figured right. out if they drink it from the shoreline versus drink it from the middle. I haven't found any consistency oh. about whether one area of the water gets you sick and others I took don't. a drink earlier, so... Uh, the first suit does uh, it filters it. Oh right. So so you're good there. But after you get some of the some of the as you progress and you get more workshop stuff, the suits will no longer filter the water. Oh. Right, got you. I never knew that. Um. Okay. How do I put this raw meat on the fire? Uh, control left click is usually a good way. Oh, just oh inventory or E or F. I mean. Yep. Yeah, so it just it just adds it to the stack that was already there, is that? Yep. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and it mostly expires in... the way the new subsistence um, uh, vegetables expire. Oh, right. Okay. So I may have a tendency uh... to relate to subsistence because, <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of hours there, and that certainly you have a whole lot of right. hours there. It doesn't last forever. That's the main thing. Yep. So I can consume that. Yeah, when, when Icarus first come out, uh, whenever you got high enough into tier 4 and you could build the refrigerator, it actually stopped all spoils. Yeah, yeah that was nice. That was like oh, subsistence. Right. Okay. Now, I'll take a second to explain, um, and I may turn down, we've got our first storm coming in. So that's usually about yeah. this kind of timing that you get on the storm. The first one is usually very mild. It's probably going to put our fire out, so you can put a fire inside of a place, but it can start it up. But anyways, I think we'll be okay from this storm, but I just thought I'd let us know. This is sort of common, and I'd say right. any mission, the storms start more mild. They give you some time to get going, and then over time they get a little bit more hectic. Right. So uh, you've created a wood pile. How did you do that? There is, it is something that you can craft. You have to have a hundred wood in your inventory and it basically turns that hundred into a pile. And then you can hold down E and it will put it back as a hundred in your inventory. So it's just okay. a way to get uh, it, to put it somewhere. I have 99. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it won't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you can always, sometimes I steal wood from the fire. That's often a place we steal to steal from. Um, Okay. Yeah. So yeah, weather, weather events we have to be careful of. This one, it's just rain, so we should be all right. Yeah, um, but eventually we'd be yeah. making a shelter for probably the next one. We'll okay. take a so little bit of damage by the time this storm will be through. It does it affect your stamina. Fire. It does have other um, effects. So just activate. Is it with the fire? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the rain will keep putting it out. Yeah. So. Um. We could build a shelter if we want. Do you need any of the food in there? And you're welcome um, to eat anything that's currently there's not the the corn, the charred corn at the end is actually pretty good. Um, and I guess I'll take a second if that's okay to explain how the food. Oops, it's telling me. To... I think I'm I'm good on food actually. So there's a thing called food buffs in this game. That's actually kind of a big thing. It's good to learn about. So if you look in the bottom left corner, I'm looking at yours. Um, you've got, see that, that big pork chop, uh, you know, steak T-bone looking yeah. thing in the bottom left? Yeah. Stringy meat, I think that was. Yeah. Yep. If you hover over that or if you hit tab and go to your inventory, you can see the status at the bottom there. You can hover over it and it will tell you what right. extra bonuses. So that one is prime meat and that's a really good one. If you also eat... Um, well, you had red berries somewhere there. If you just eat your red berries, you could right-click on your hotbar zero, or you can press zero, I think. Click consume. Now you see okay. berries get added to that status effect. Oh, yeah. So it's always okay. good to, and you can, when you get out of your tab, you'll see those in the bottom left. Yeah, so it's good to have a wide and varied diet. And yep, you get th three different yeah. things. So berries are always one I'll pick up first. If I get a watermelon, I'll eat it right away because you don't have to cook it. So, you know, eventually you figure yeah. out how you want to stack it. But in the beginning, it's just usually just a berry and, and some meat and whatever else you have. Cooking uh, meat tends to focus on health and health regeneration. Cooking vegetables tends to focus on stamina and things related to that. So okay. just a brief. Uh, some, 
something else to uh, think of during these storms, Mozo. Mm -hmm. Over here, I have hollowed out this stone. All right. Okay. And if you if you squat now, sometimes it takes some some doing because sometimes it, it doesn't happen immediately. But if you hollow out a stone and crouch and go into it, uh, after you've dug enough out of it, it will it take away your storm. Up. Oh right. Okay. Well, yeah, it'll it'll shelter you. And so you can see how at the top the bar maximum. is almost right. at the top. You could go in yeah. that rock for about five seconds, ten seconds, just enough to make it through the storm. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm if you want to try it. But that's sort of the oh no, I'm too far away from the base. But it's a good go to. And of uh, course it's gotta be a fairly decent right. sized rock. Yeah. To do it to. Where are we? Where, oh, I'm where behind you. Oh. Yeah, oh. off to your oh, uh, away from the shore up the hill here. Which now your storm go is going down, but you can see what I did. Yeah, it's he's on the side of it. A little hole in here. So normally you crouch and then just start whacking, oh, right. usually okay. aiming low, but. Yep. Oh, that is a little hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I didn't, I didn't okay. realize it was that small. <laughs> so just a trick. My head is, my head is in the rock. Is yep. That, right. hmm. Interesting. Now we have, uh, along with another player, while we were co-oping uh, before, we actually built kind of a base structure with these stones. We we got big enough stones that we hollowed them out, put our beds in there, fires right. in there. Okay. So. And like I said, it takes a little bit of getting used to, and, how, and you know, how far can you go? How far do you have to go in uh, before you'll you'll figure it out? But yeah. it, it definitely comes in handy, especially since you know the earlier bases get, do get harmed by storms, whereas the rock actually is impermeable. So it's a nice way in the beginning to yeah. Oh, it's easy enough to do as well. Okay, yeah. useful trick. A few tricks. I know Icarus can be a challenging one, just like a lot of survival games, but sometimes a few tricks in the beginning are just nice to get you past those initial hurdles. Are we are we chopping wood deliberately, or um, um, are we going to need a I lot? I don't know that? that we're going to need wood, just because we need to be level 5 before we can really use it, but at least knocking a tree down, even if you don't chop it all into pieces, you get 300 XP just by knocking it down, so if you fail like just getting some XP... Um, you could. We are going to have to start thinking about a shelter, so I guess unless any of us are near level 5, it's probably and the reason I say that, I guess I'll put it on my screen for the viewers and um, viewers too, but when you look in your, your tech tree when you're uncrafting scrolling to the right uh, Okay, sorry, I'm just <laughs> I think I've made one of those those wood things, but I'm now over encumbered and I Oh there you are. Yeah, oh, it does yeah, do yeah. that. Number seven. So here's a quick trick. Try oh, hitting right, no yeah. click number seven um out of the menu and place it. I see. That so, was what I was missing. I wasn't looking on my help bar. And I'll show you yeah. one more trick. So now push number seven again and it remembers what was in that slot and it will recraft another one. Oh button. right. Got you. So you see the shadow of it there, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, just because I saw you had enough wood to make more than one. Yeah. And the different gotcha. meats, uh, once they're cooked, will give you different stats, like the stringy meat that's in here. I just moved up to the the first area in the fire, and it will give you uh, better, once it's cooked, it'll give you better stats than regular meat. Right, yeah, okay. So whenever you're and... ready, I guess we could show you how to make the, um, the shelter. The time yep. is in our top right corner, so it's about 2.45. Um, this game has sleeping, so technically at 1800 you can sleep through the night. Right, okay. Um, so, what do we need? Wood and stone? Um, so, uh, I'll show you how to uh, open it up. Maybe go in your tech tree if you have any tech available. Um, the tab up there. You've got three points, perfect. That's actually really good. So, if you scroll off to the right. And I'm just going to put up your screen just so everybody sees. And then see there, uh, top right, kind of all the way at the end, thatch beam. Uh, sorry. Uh, towards top the right hand of your screen currently. Oh, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you click that, 
everything starts with that, does it? Yep, and then you want to open the floor and the wall. And those are really the two, and that'll be just enough to build one. Okay. And so then, yeah, you can craft, and I would craft um, four beams, two floors, and four walls. And see how... Four beams. Yeah. Well, as soon as one of us gets a few more blueprint points that we can make a door... Yeah. I, a I could I could tech into a door. I mean, well, no, maybe not. I don't know. I have to see because I only got so many tech points. Um. Yeah, I don't have any yet. I'm not far off though. I'll be leveling up oh, in a yep. second. I cannot tech into a door. Need smacking. I'm trying to get us some stuff to get uh, beds. There you go. I probably have at least some fur. How much fur do I have? I only have six, oh no. <laughs> so you need yeah, 20 fur bed. I got 14 fur. Guess I should have been thinking. But I'm working that. on it. Yeah, I'll work on that too. Otherwise, we might be working in the night a little bit here. Eventually, ooh, we'll both. Eventually, hunting is the best way to get uh, experience. So. Oh, there you go. Leveled up. Yeah, me too. Of course, my poor knife, you get a lower yield out of things with the same knife. Yeah. A better knife gives you more, you know, more fur, more meat, more bone. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it, really? Yep. Yeah. Looks like Pot 2 made his, his, his torch. Chop one at a time or not? Oh, right, okay. Oh, I cannot make any bandages. It won't let me craft it. Um, probably there's no space in your... Remember how it doesn't always craft down to your hotbar? Oh, yeah. You have to drag... You have to make sure there's an open space in your regular inventory. Sometimes nope, I can still not it. doing it. Really? So confusing. I don't know, man. Your game... You may need to reinstall that thing. <laughs> I was doing it for the arrows and stuff the other day, that it wouldn't allow yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, um, my test playthrough with you uh, couldn't craft any more arrows for some reason. Yeah, and that was a world and, that was, and, you and, were hosted, so I don't know. And I can't craft any more than five arrows at a time. Like, I click it once, and I mean, it's it's weird. Yeah, your game seems a bit messed up. I don't know what happened there. Um, okay, what was it we were short of? Um, uh, the door, the tech tree, all the way to the right. Um, off of the wall, up to the right there, that door. Okay. And did you want me to do beds, or have we got that? Uh, we're working on it. I think we don't quite have enough material for the beds, so... Don't worry uh, about unlocking them. Sure, yeah. Let me put... If you craft your wood... Uh, You'll need to find oxide. Your rag torch. There's a slot in your hot bar for light. A rag torch. Uh, I don't know if you've unlocked it yet. Looks like you haven't, so uh, that could be something no. you might want to use a blueprint point for. Wood. It's towards the left, it's one of the beginning ones. Left, wood rag torch. Okay. The good and the bad of being in a more docile area without as many predators is, like you said, the hunting is sort of where you, what you need for the for the bed rolls and for experience. So, I seem to have far too much wood. Yeah, I think in the beginning, a lot of the gathering, I just tend to throw all the fiber and all the other stuff out of my inventory because we really don't need it for now. 
Well, Except I figure if we're going to patch. Yeah, if we're going to build, um, we're going to need uh, lots of wood. Lots of wood and stone, probably. Yeah. Although, really, the only last mission is to build a bedroll. Yep, and I just got enough to do it. So, technically, depending on how much longer, we could enter the next mission, and that's the one that will start to really, you know, need us to build out more of a base. So this one was a good one just to get our bearings and get a little of experience, yeah. get a few levels up and unlocks done. So if you want, I can I can build the bed. I feel like we I'm should. I'm just looking at all the stuff I got in my inventory. I've got so much, so many sticks. Yeah, <laughs> so all, I, all the gathering, you and, can just delete them. Or we can use sticks to burn in the fire or even fibers if we want. Speed. So. Um, Stone arrows, spoiled plants. Don't need to carry those around. So we on the on the consensus of uh, just go ahead and build it. I think so. I think so. Yeah. Is it? I should, uh, at this point, we're going to be playing in the dark the whole night. I don't think it's uh, worth staying in this when we've already completed the mission. Personally, is that's the mission complete? Is it just? Yeah. Bed? Just show you know how to build a uh, shelter. You do need to put the door in. Uh, yep, because it's not sheltered. Uh, okay, crafting, um, latch door. I can do that. Uh, where'd it go? How you build, that's up to you. So long as you and there we are. Now, the other thing, uh, Mozo, on here is if you go, if you look at the bed, you can hold E to create a spawn point there, and you'll want to have a spawn point whenever you make a base, for sure. Ah, uh, right, okay. In my case, it's F, just for my viewers' sake. Um, oh, yes, I changed my, hot, my, my key yeah. to E. I think E is the default. Um, I, I prefer F for interact, so all my games I change if mm. I can. But, um, and yeah, I've got a feeling it is default. Broadly speaking, if you don't have a spawn point in a bed, it will drop you in a new dropship somewhere within the same field that you've that you were in. So if you oh, were right. across the map and you built a base, it will put you in a dropship all the way across the map. Um, but if gotcha. your base is right next to your dropship, it's not as important to have a spawn point. Just gotcha. a real brief rundown. Okay, Dave. Yep. You need to put some oxide in your suit. I know, I think I just did recently. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It was like letting it die. Um So I guess really the usually the next step is everybody finds their own um ship. So I usually go to the map and just ping it. Um I I it, you will only see your own on the map, so I just double click on it on the map and you all kinda run to your own ship. And that's usually uh, it. Okay. And the host has to be the last one to leave. Yep. Okay. So uh, apparently mine is up in the mountains. <laughs> yeah, I can come with you. We can. Sometimes we do that too. We'll escort each other out. And um, and it's pitch black. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here. Here's you, your rag you torch, torch if you haven't done that yet. Yeah, I've no. I've got a rag torch. I can't see my ping. If you. Um, um... Oh, it's just on the compass at the top. I see. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're green or on the map. Um, but show your rag torch. There you go. Yeah. You can hold it like that, or you can put it in the L button on the left hand of your tab. Oh, right. On the left okay. hand of your hotbar, and then you can just push L and it will be lit on your hip. The terraforming went to crap, but they left a few critters behind. Changed oh, their genes okay. some, Um, I think there is there a third person in this view. A uh, third person view in this. There is. So, Press think... C if you'd like it. Is it C? It's... The, the uh, angle uh, is a bit disorienting. Uh, no, no. I, I've changed it. it. That just gives me crouch. Oh, crouch. That's okay. Oh, I, yeah. um, oh it's control. That's it. Uh, oh, yours is yours is backwards. Yeah, we switched. Yeah, Compared I, to ours. Yeah, that makes sense. Just thought, for the viewer's sake, running at night in the dark with a light on my hip would be easier if the yeah. third person. Uh, I do the third person where I can, and then it's a little disorienting with aiming the bow and things like, you know, slashing oh, yeah. with your knife, yeah. but, yeah. Can't play in third person, but 
does. Uh, I practiced a lot on our streams easy. trying to, so I've gotten okay at it. I don't know what I just heard. Something growled. <laughs> Okay, so I think we're going to just complete this mission, and uh, I think that will do us for the first episode, do you think? Yeah, no, it was a quicker one here for sure, just sort of an orientation, well, so maybe. It didn't, yeah, I mean, it took a lot longer than it needed to take, because obviously I'm learning, and we could have just immediately crafted the bows and shot a load of deer, and yeah, we didn't need all that wooden stone, it was just to get us leveled up, wasn't it? Yep. But um, uh, interact with launch and drop soon and complete the mission. So I think uh, if uh, hopefully we'll do another episode, if you guys are up to it, and um, we'll try a, a different mission, maybe the next one in this sequence. And hopefully you viewers will be able to follow along if you've got the game or maybe consider getting the game if you haven't. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us. And uh, I'm going to jump in my ship. All right. I can. Well We'll watch you launch off, but yeah, thanks for doing this. I'm excited for the series. Okay, press F to interact. Um, workshop items in your dropship inventory will be delivered back to the station. Yep. Exotic extraction. Do I need to do anything with my inventory, or should I? You do not. I Everything in... in your inventory will disappear because it was all crafted on the planet, so it will, none of it will come up with you. So you right. don't need to do anything uh, with it. Yeah. So I don't need to put anything in my dropship. Nope. Uh, in cargo slots or anything like that. No, nope. and even even once you bring things down, you don't need to. You can keep it on your right. inventory. Either place, it'll come up with you. Got okay. you. Okay, so uh, return to station. Bye. All righty. I'll see you. Bye. Uh, bye. All right, mission complete. I guess the rockets look a little cooler in the dark. That's at least nice oh. for the night. <laughs> <Looks sad. laughs> All right, I am lifting off. <laughs>